everybody, welcome to a new interview. And today, we are at, I am actually going to be teaching you on how to get custom skins for Minecraft for you edition. Now, I have done a tutorial on this before, but it was a little out of context and was not that good. So, as you guys might not know, I have custom skins on my Wii U. I did also make my own skin pack. Um, I'll be showing that in the future video today or tomorrow. And yeah, so here is how you do it. So you need a SD card. So here, I'll show you the SD card that you need. You need an SD card that fits your Wii U and computer. So here's the SD card I have, one gigabyte. It fits my Wii U and it fits my computer. Also, you need a computer. So yeah, so take this um, SD card out. All right, so I have my SD card now. Move your Wii U away. All right, so I'm gonna inject my SD card inside of my computer. Now I have the SD card on my computer. Now it will open up my files. I have this on auto. And you might see a bunch of photos and stuff, but there's a Wii U file in here, apps, and then here are the things that you guys need. And able to get this, you need to go to the description and go to this link right here, permanent install. Download this. It might have a pop-up. Wait for it to download. And then open it once it downloads, which might take a little. It depends on how strong your computer is. My computer's not that strong. Okay. Now I have WinZip. Um, I think this is WinZip or something. No, WinRAR or something. Um, but yeah, so what you wanna do once you're in this area, you need to open up the, the homebrew la <laughs> launcher tab and then Jeez. And then go to the Wii U thing and then just drag this inside of your SC card. And then that's all you need to do for the SC card. So then take out the SC card. Remember, if you want it to be extra safe, go to here and then eject your SD card. Boom. All right, now take this out. And then plop it right into your Wii U. Alright, so now, now that we've done most of the computer things, what we need to do before we start on the Wii U, we need to go back to here and we need to download PCK Studio right here. So once you download this, it will pop up in a Rinrar, WinZip, whatever you have, or just a regular thing if you have nothing. So, Right now I have all these folders, permanent install, I'm gonna delete this. This is what I did for the video. So, you open up PCK Studio, you go in here, and you load up pckstudio.exe. And that's it for the, okay, it's not it for, it'll maybe say continue right here. Then you close what has the creator been up to, then continue again. And then it will pop up with PCK Studio. Now you press on more Wii U PCK installer system. If you live in Europe, press U E U R. If you live in the US, I live in the US, so press US. And then if you live in Japan, press on Japan. Now, Wii U IP. This is where you need to do stuff. So, but before we do that, we like and subscribe, yeah, before we do that. <laughs> now go to a new tab and Go to a website. My website might have some in the future, maybe like today or tomorrow, because I'm working on my own skin pack. So go on his skin pack for now because he has some pretty good ones. And pick any skin pack you want. So Hide and Seek Mob Edition, Nintendo Skin Pack 1, which is basically Skin Pack 1 for free, uh, Fifth Birthday, Ultimate Block, Ultimate Block Skin Pack, and then Yoshi Skin Pack. So, I have my very own skin packs and everything, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, now what you have to do is go on your Wii U, press on the home button. Oh yeah, I forgot my Wii U was gonna crash. Jesus, if your Wii U crashes, you just pull out the power button 
and put it right back in and then turn on your, your Wii U again. So basically, if you turn on your Wii U, okay, and then once you load up your Wii U, it'll take a little bit for me. Pick your user if you have multiple accounts, which I do, so. So, please wait, please wait, please wait, please wait, Jesus. All right, now go to the internet browser. I have YouTube open right now, but that's not true because my Wii U sometimes crashes, so just reverses everything. Now, once you're on here, you need to search up L-O-A-D, so load, two eyes, and then in the OVH. So this is it. Press OK. Now this is what you need to do. Listen. So make sure your SD card is in there. And swipe down. Swipe up. Press X two times. Then press submit. Again. Down. Up. X two times. And then do it again. Load up this page. Boom. Boom. Do this. You don't need to do this. This is just make sure that your Wii U doesn't freeze and, uh, like, crash. Exactly. So then it should load up something that says this. So, don't worry about this TCP gecko thing. That's just my hacks. Okay. So, Mocha. Load up Mocha. Mocha CFW. And once you load up this, you go to FTP IIU everywhere. And now it will say your Wii U IP. So it will say your Wii U IP right here. It will say 10.0.0 and then dot two other numbers. So put that, don't, don't do the colon 21. And then put this inside of here. Dot. And also memorize your Wii U IP just in case. And then press start. Your Wii U will be looking a little bit weird. And yeah, so just wait for a little bit. You can also count on what's happening on your, on your Wii U. Um, basically what it's doing, it's going inside of your Minecraft files and going inside of every single skin pack you have and literally like rendering all of them and then putting them into the program. It might take a little bit. It might take a couple minutes. Sometimes it might freeze like that if you have a bad computer <laughs> or if your computer is charging or something and it's not full charge and it has a lot of things freaking open like mine. Um, yeah, mine's at half health, so it won't, it will be a little slow. So, skin pack one, boom, boom, then it's going fast. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, then another Star Wars, Stray, 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 Super. And once it says tutorial, then villain, this should pop up on your computer. So, what you have to do. Go on any skin pack, you have to replace the skin pack. So my first one is the Simpsons. So I'll re so you re you right click it and press replace with external pack. PCK. Now go to um your Minecraft skin packs and double click on one. And if it depends if it's really big or not, like the block one, it's really big. But if it does this, just press try to restore the program and PCK replaced. Now, Incredibles is my next one that I use. Elite Hackers, boom. And now, lag, 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 Jesus. Okay, PCK replaced. Now, boom, replaced with external pack. Gazloth, this shouldn't take long, okay. And then Rebels, uh, giant skin pack, which might take a little bit because it's a little big, because it has a lot of pixels. Okay, now prequel. I have, do have a lot of skin packs, so. Okay, mob skin pack. Now, mob skin pack and the block skin pack take a little bit. Mobs doesn't take long, but the, <laughs> the blocks one takes a little bit. And then image skin pack, I have this one as well. Solo. So, pack fifth birthday. I just have a bunch of these random skin packs. I don't even use some of them. Uh... Uh, this giant one that I actually have, it's literally giant. <laughs> so sometimes I have to wait a little bit to import it, try to restore the program. As I said, boom, skin pack two. 
uh, ultimate blocks. Now this one, lag. Jesus. So sometimes it will freeze like that in the middle of uh, doing one. But just press on wait for the program to, to do this. It will take a little bit. So just wait a little. Jesus. It will take a little bit. Sometimes it does this and you can't try to restore it. So let's keep on tapping it. Jesus. Freaking Christ. Ah! Oh my god, this takes a little bit sometimes. You might have to do it for about a minute or so. There we go. PCK replaced. And then I do skin pack one. Sometimes it does do that, it matters how good your computer is. <laughs> Alright, my Minecraft skin packs, my skin pack, which is going to be going up for public in a little bit. Now, skin pack one, skin pack two. Oh, well, okay, that's fast. Now, once you're done, press stop right there. And then press the home button on your Wii U gamepad. And you are, are you done? Yes, you are done. Now you have your custom skins. Now I'm gonna load up something that is totally unrelated and you do not have to do. I just loaded this thing up because it's my hacks and I wanna load it up right now. But basically, that is how you get custom skins on the Wii U Minecraft Edition, guys. Hopefully the guys, uh, this helped you a little bit. Every single link that I did use, it will be in the description for you guys to freely use all you want. Now, look at this. It might lag a little bit right when you load up Minecraft. But my new skin pack should be there. Hopefully, because I'm, I mean, it is in the middle of making, so. Okay, it might trash, maybe, I don't know. Eh. So look, it'll lag a little bit at the start. But boom. Loads up. Now, I'm going to download something on my computer right now because I have hacks, so I have to do this. Disable. Disable. I'll be making a video on this, on how, what I'm doing right now, on what to do. Because some people actually really, really freaking... Uh... uh don't think that was Minecraft, but whatever. Okay. Okay. All right, connecting to Nintendo Network. Okay, all right, so let's go to my skin packs. So the new skin pack that I imported was my own skin pack, which I think it didn't work. <gasps> yes, it did, yes! All right, look at this. So I have my own skin pack right here. Um, it is going up for, not sale, I almost said sale. Yeah, so here's my new skin pack that I have. I have custom capes like this. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on how to get custom skins on Minecraft Wii U. And goodbye! Doop!